Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is about these two uh, multimedia probes. They look very similar, but their performance is very different. And this video shows you that you can either be very lucky buying stuff from China or unlucky. These probes over here will be tested in this video and I will talk about them in a moment. Originally this was uh, only uh, included in my mailbag video, and I, but I thought this might be too interesting not to make its own video. So I hope you like the video. And let's get started. Now these are some multimeter probes and several years ago I bought this pair but the original product page is no longer available and I hope that these are the same as the ones I already bought because the ones I already bought they were advertised as gold plated um, probes and because of their performance I strongly believe that they are gold plated or have some special plating because they are really really responsive so let me show you this is my multimeter no this is the new one and this is the old one the one I was using for years with these probes for obviously low voltage projects and if I select right so continuity test and if we do this test you see how responsive they are this is really amazing and fantastic because if I compare it to the ones that were included with the multimeter the ones they perform much better so if I install the probes that were included with the multimeter, they are so bad. You see, I can do this test and barely get any response. But if I use these potentially gold-plated ones, and we do the same test, they are so good. So you can have this on, on ground and then go on an IC over and over and over and here where the actual short is. That's really necessary if you want to troubleshoot especially ICs with a lot of legs. You can't just probe each leg individually. You have to have your, um, your reference somewhere and then probe and if it makes a noise there is a short. So you, we need this responsiveness. And as you already saw, I bought a second multimeter because, well, the second multimeter isn't uh, because of these, but is because of the probes that I showed you previously, uh, these over here, these cables. What I tend to do when I have a project is sometimes I need these, sometimes I need these probes, and it's so inconvenient to always remove these connectors, install these connectors, and so on and so forth. So I decided to buy another uh, multimeter. This is the same one, it's just called Special Edition, and the only difference is the price. This one is 10 euros cheaper than this one. This one was 35 euros, this one is 25 euros. And these multimeters are really amazing. But this video is not about the multimeters, this video is not about the probes I'm using. And now I have a mess over here. Yeah, okay, but it's about these new multimeters, so let's see if they are the same. Now first, let's go visually. So I do have these caps, and they have the same caps. The probes are marked 1000 volt maximum 20 amps the color is a bit off on the red on the black it's the same the cables connectors the color is again a bit off and I also have these protective caps but they are not necessary but here's the difference okay so the new ones this is not really good. The banana plug 
Yeah, they are they are the same length. So this connector over here comes all the way up. And this is not good because these are special connectors that are designed to protect you from accidentally touching uh, the connector. If the probe is somewhere in and this would fall out of the multimeter or you would unplug it and this was still connected somewhere, having this extra space to the top prevents you from accidentally touching the metal. But they, they come right on to the top, you can see there's not a whole lot different um, distance and I can touch them, I can feel the plug and that's not good. This is, this is bad, this is really bad. Because if you have it like this, there's no reason to have this outer housing, this unnecessary. However, I'm not using them for high voltage because I don't trust them. See, I bought them from China. And they are rated for 1000 volts and 20 amps. 1000 volt, maybe, but 20 amps through this connector over here, no way. And you shouldn't really use one of these for current measurement. But the way they feel, even the, the ones I uh, already bought, I would never trust them for any voltage that is uh, above 100 volt DC, 60 volt AC. These are voltages that are safe to touch, but uh, still having this connector shows that the quality is much worse and tells you that whoever engineered this or whoever built this has no idea. But let's see the connectors. So, or the, not the connectors, the the probes. Now the probes look very similar. Let's see. No, they are not. Let's go in a bit further. So, let's take a look. You can see the, the this is the one I already bought and this is the new one. So right hand over here, old ones, new ones. You can see this part over here is different to this part over here. But beside that they look really similar. So now it comes down to the test. Okay, so let's use the multimeter and see how they perform. I hope they perform the same, okay? They are worse. What? Okay. Let's do a side by side comparison. My old probes. And the new ones. It sometimes lacks connection, so the probes are not as good as the old ones. That's really unfortunate. And I also just saw that the handle is thicker with the new ones. That's a shame. I really like them. I really wanted to have the same kind. But they're not 100% the same. And they do not perform the same. However, still good probes. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. And as I said in the beginning, it shows you that you can either be very lucky with uh, stuff you buy from China with its performance or very unlucky. Looks doesn't always uh, say anything about uh, performance. And yeah, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below. And other than that, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.